The most important page you'll create in Notion will likely be a personal dashboard. It's a place where you can add all of your favorite Notion pages and create a central hub for everything. In this video, we'll be showing you how to build a simple personal dashboard with Notion and some tips on how to customize it. If you find this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. So let's dive right in. Let's start with an empty Notion page and we're going to first title this Simple Personal Dashboard. And let's go ahead and add an icon by clicking add icon. And let's go with something like this. And then we can add a cover photo by clicking add cover and change cover. And you can go to unsplash for a huge stock image library. And we'll go with something minimal and something like this. And then we are going to get started. So the first step is actually to turn this page into full width. So we can go to the top right hand corner here and toggle on small text full width. And this is what we normally do just so that there's more space on the page. And then we are going to start adding some databases to this dashboard. So for a personal dashboard, you can add anything you want, but the main two things that we recommend you to have here is a to-do list and a calendar. So we can go ahead and type slash page and we can click into a page and we'll just title this calendar and you can add an icon for a calendar here as well calendar like this and then you can choose from here calendar and plus new database and now if we go back you'll see calendar appear here and then the second database that we should create is going to be our to-do list so we're going to type slash page again and we can title this to-do list and let's go ahead and turn this into a board view and plus new database and we can go ahead and add an icon and icons here to do like this and then if we go back we have these two here and then the next step is that we like to make a navigation on the left hand side with the databases stored there so we're going to go ahead and type slash call out to make a call out box and we're going to title this navigation and you can go ahead and highlight it and then bold it and then we can type enter to make a space under here and then move the calendar and to do list inside like this and now we have a sort of menu here. And then what we're going to do is to showcase the to-do list on the right-hand side here, as well as the calendar as a link to view database. And what that means is that it links to these original databases, but you can see a view here. So we're going to go ahead and type slash linked and linked view of database. And we're going to choose the correct database for this, which is calendar. And we can just choose like this. And then let's go ahead and hide the database title by going to layout and toggling off database title. So now we have the calendar, which is also here. And then we're going to make two columns. So we're going to type enter here and then slash column. And we're going to move the navigation into the left side. And then we can move this over here. So now we have a space here for our to-do list. So we can type slash linked view of database again and we can add the to-do list so now we have this to-do list view here which is also over here and we can go ahead and also toggle off the database title like this and now we have a clean layout and then the next thing we want to do is also go to the three dots here and we're going to already check this load limit so this is how many pages it's going to show at one time so we want to make this 10 so that it doesn't clog the whole space and now we can add some headings so this side is going to be our to-do list so we can go ahead and type to do list and slash divider and then we can change this into heading three and we can highlight this and move it up here like this and then we can do the same for the calendar. So we can again go here and we can type slash heading three 
and this is going to be calendar and then slash divider and we can drag it to this block here like this so now we have a calendar here and a to-do list up here and then the next thing we can do is to check the database properties so if we go into this card one now we can see that there's a status which is really important for board view and assign so we don't need assign since this is a personal one so we're going to delete this property and some properties you could add for example could be a date or a tag depending on what category to do list this is so let's go ahead and add a tag so we can actually select multi-select like this and we can call this tag and we can for example put something like work and we can even put a date so if we could go date and then you can see some dates that this should be due for example if you need to so we can call this to do one and now we can click the three dots here and go to properties and we can show the date and the tag so this is one way to do a to-do list and when you're done you can just move it over to complete like this so this is really a useful way to make a to-do list so that you can easily drag it in the different stages that it's going for and then we can also check our calendar so here we have a monthly view so it's also nice to also have a weekly view so we can duplicate this by clicking duplicate and we can name this one weekly view weekly and then we go to layout and you can change show calendar as to week and then this one we can rename into monthly like this and now we have a monthly view and a weekly view and then we can check some of the properties by clicking here and adding an item and calendar entry one so it has a date it has tags and if you need anything else, you can also add multiple different kinds of properties here from checkboxes to URLs and so on. So it really depends on how you're going to be using this calendar. But let's say that we do have a tag here. So let's say that this is a vacation. So then we can make sure that we can see this on the outside. So we can go to the three dots here, go to properties and we can show off the tag. So now we have this calendar entry one and it's tagged as a vacation. So you can easily see what kind of calendar items you have here based on that. And then if we go up here, the last thing we want to show you in terms of the setup here is that if you want to add more pages to this personal dashboard, which you'll most likely want to do because that's the sort of beauty of Notion is that you can add multiple pages and multiple trackers and anything you need inside this one central page. Then you can just click plus here and we can add a new page by typing slash page. And if you go here, now you can see that there is templates. So if you're kind of out of ideas or want a quick way to add new things into your personal dashboard, you can just click templates and let's say that you want a personal weekly to-do list or personal quick note or anything here, reading list. You can just click get template and it's going to load it inside here. And then if we go out of it, you'll see that now we have our reading list here as well. So this is a really easy way to just quickly add things to your personal dashboard. And the final touch that we wanted to add to this personal dashboard is actually a clock widget because it looks nice to have a clock when you're doing your own dashboard. So if we go over to widget box, we'll show you how to set up a clock inside Notion using widgets. So we'll be leaving the link to widget box in the description below, but basically you need to create an account. And once you do, you'll be able to access the retro clock, which we like to use for clocks inside Notion. So we just click create. And then you have all sorts of customization options. So in this case, since we're going for a sort of minimal look, we'll go with some kind of grayer color for this clock. So if we go here, we can actually set the color a little bit grayer. So something like this, and then we can just copy it. So once we have it copied, if we go back to our Notion page, then we can add the clock here, pasting it in, create embed. 
and now we have the clock and we'll just move this up here so we can see the clock better and you can drag this over like this so that you can see it better like this and we basically have our personal dashboard so we have a to-do list here, a navigation section here where you can easily add new templates as well as a calendar with monthly and weekly view. So that was the basics of creating a simple personal dashboard using Notion. If you're interested in the completed version of this template, we'll leave the link to that in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video, feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next one.